One of the best options for a low profile keyboard is the MX Keys and the MX Mini. The beauty of both is their laptop like incline and the long list of program customizations. You can link to and easily swap back and forth on three Bluetooth devices. But which one is right for you? When it comes to price, the Logitech MX Keys can be found right now for $119. The MX Keys Mini is $99. That's a $20 difference for practically the same device. The MX Keys functions with both PC and Mac, but they have their own dedicated Mac version. They even have a business version, but they're mainly the same thing with subtle differences between all three. Unless you have a dedicated workstation and only plan to use the MX Key for one device, I'd recommend getting the base model. The original MX Keys come in black, graphite, and space gray for Mac. The MX Keys Mini also comes in black, graphite, but spice it up with pale gray and rose. They're the same height and depth, but with five inches and half a pound difference between them. The MX Keys extra size has a number pad and a full size navigation key, which the more petite version lacks. Both are made of similar dense plastics and are silent for typing and remain secure with grippy feet. Both have a slight incline without a stand and it lacks legs or any form of angle adjustability. Depending on your desk height or seating preferences, this can be a problem for some, so you might need a wrist rest. They're both USB-C charged and last about a week and a half with backlighting on but it can last for five months with that feature turned off. I once to use my MX keys for four months with backlighting off before needing to charge. They have a strong white backlight without any color options. So it's not on the wish list of avid RGB enthusiasts. Both have a built-in sensor though that turns on when your hand comes near. You can also turn that off. As I mentioned earlier, both can switch to three different devices, but the MX keys have three dedicated buttons while the mini has them merge with the first three function keys. Keys. The MX keys come with Logitech's unifying receiver, which has a stronger connection to other Logitech devices, but that's a whole different item to buy. The Mini isn't compatible with that unifying receiver, but compatible with the Logi Bolt USB-C receiver. It's apparently like a new stronger encrypted receiver for Logitech, but you'll need to buy that separately as well. But you can use Bluetooth for both with a strong, but not as strong connection. They have a short pre-travel distance and produce almost silent typing. Each key has an indent to match the shape of your fingertips, but I don't feel it adds anything but tactile comfort. I find the Mini keys a little bit too cramped for my liking. You see, I tend to know Notice when the keys were just a little bit too cramped or rearranged where I'm used to from normal keyboards, but it's perfect for short uses, especially when traveling. The Logitech option software offers more customization. It creates multiple device profiles and custom settings for specific applications. You can have the F5 button paste on Microsoft Word, open a website on Chrome, and zoom in and out on your video editing timeline. The mini includes some new function keys like a dictation key, a microphone key, an emoji key, um, the screen snippet key, and the dictation keys are now my nine to five stables. I didn't find the other keys helpful and quickly swapped them to other functions within the Logitech options program. These two are fraternal twins. Logitech made the mini for you if you're more mobile or use mobile devices, but some of us might need a larger or more spacious layout. So your choice between them shouldn't be hard based on your use case. You get everything the Mini possesses and the number key for $20 more. You, and you also get a sleek, compact version of the MX keys in the Mini for $20 less. So either way, you're getting a good deal. I have links to both in the description if you want to check them out, as well as check out my other review right here.